ladies, and welcome to the main stage. In tonight's challenge, I asked you all to prepare talking points for a debate on live national television for CNN. I was less than impressed with most of you. Huckabee, I felt like we didn't see the real you this evening. In fact, you blended deeply into the background. Are you getting a candy hoe edit? It's okay, my dear. You're safe. Thank you very much. Rand Paul, you are a fellow Kentuckian. I'm an eye surgeon from Bowling Green, Kentucky. And I appreciate one of my own homegirls. In fact, I even tended to agree with you on many points you made about the Middle East and the war on drugs, which, frankly, scared me a little bit. However, you didn't make the strongest showing. You're safe. Thank you. Senator Cruz, your look on the main stage tonight reminded me of a wigged James St. James. And in fact, your pasty white skin turned me on quite a bit. However, your wax museum good looks translated into a sad, dry, insincere performance. You were always acting and never really telling us the truth. I want to see more vulnerability next time. You're safe. Walker. Girl, you got jokes. Can I retell one? Mm, so good. I'd love to play cards with this guy, cause Obama always folds. <laughs> Read. Thank you. But all you heard were fluff. You're safe. Governor Christie, were you really here with us tonight? I felt like I constantly got the run around Sue as you ran around the answer to the questions or the points to the issues. Do better next time. You're safe. Take the camera off me and put it on the audience. That leaves Rubio, Bush, Fiorina, Kasich, Carson, and Trump. You all are the highest and the lowest scores this evening. Carson, when I was writing my list of notes for this evening's performance, I almost forgot about you. You were a wet blanket, a limp, overcooked, post al dente noodle stuck in my Fazoli's Italian-American dish. And I don't want you there. I'm sorry, my dear, but you are up for elimination. I just want to be, uh, make it clear that I'm grateful to be here with all of you. Rubio. Your look tonight on the main stage is very Latino daddy. I'm, in fact, hella into it. My wife, Jeanette, and I are the proud parents. We've been married 17 years, and we're the proud parents of four children. However, are you relying on pretty? Show us more next time. You're safe. Bush. Bush. May I call you Bushy? No. OK. Understood. Bush. You really took notes from last week's challenge. You brought it in this performance. You amped it up, and I appreciate it. This is what I wanted to see. This is real politics. Girl, is your way cinched? Mm. Congratulations. Fiorina. Good evening. Girl, your pussy was on fire tonight. You brought it. You held your own among these stodgy old gentlemen. In fact, you got jokes too. Hmm. I, too, have flown hundreds of miles around the world, but unlike Hillary Clinton, I know that flying is an activity 
and not an accomplishment. Read. Well, girl, you've flown quite high enough. You are the winner of this week's challenge. I am prepared to lead the resurgence of this great nation. You may join the other girls. Bushy, that means you're safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Donald Trump, you're starting to lose your grip. You're starting to slip backwards down the slope. A slippery slope, in fact, to low pole numbers and mockery. I'm sorry, my dear, but you are up for elimination. Bad things are going to happen. Prior to this evening's performance, I asked all of the girls to prepare a fierce lip sync to Nuclear, the George W. Bush remix by B. Ames. However, in a stunning decision, this week will be a non-elimination for all of our candidates. As I'm choosing to eliminate the moderators, you all were wusses. You stood no chance against the fiery, taking more time than they had and shouting over everybody candidates. You also asked shitty questions. This is not a daytime television talk show. This is the fate of our nation. You are not a national treasure. Sashay away. Now, let's dance. <laughs>